let's try this again back to our regularly scheduled disaster already in progress okay I'm on the number one exhaust valve because the camera was not filming so I'm gonna try uh, you this is one of them things where you need three hands isn't it yep okay there we go As you can tell, I probably haven't spent a lot of time cleaning up the actual keepers or anything. Uh-oh. All right, there we go. Release the spring tension. And voila. All right, we got the number ones in. On to number two. Number two intake valve. Crap, now that I've got more than one valve out, I should be putting these back. Keeper in, and I need three hands to do them. <laughs> All through the first five videos, I call them retainers. That one is. Come on. Ah, oh, you bugger. Oh, I'm gonna have to reset. I got one retainer in. That's not going to work. One keeper in. I'm back to calling them retainers. Where is that one? Oh, stop it! That's the three. Reset. Start over. <laughs> sort of works. Gonna have to readjust these. Gonna have to readjust all the rockers for sure. Where are we at? Okay. No sense in getting real clean with this stuff. It's just going to get covered with oil again. 
minutes after we, seconds after we fire up. Are you doing? Yeah. Probably. No, I ain't gonna work. It's not nearly far enough. There. You gotta get it in the spring compressor just right to have a prayer in hell of this working. You gotta get as much spring in the spring compressor as will fit and suck it up as minimally as possible. That, my friends, should give us enough room provided There. Got the technique down. All right, you've seen it. I'm gonna do the other four and cut back later. Hey, it's done. Valve job complete. I got all eight valves back in, all brand new, all nice and polished up with the uh, valve uh, lapping compound and my little suction cup on a stick. All nicey nice. I gave it a little bit of a bath and polished off all of the uh, remnants of the old head gasket. And you might be able to see a little stainage. But I was looking at her a little closer and I think it might have been leaking. I think there was some uh, exhaust leakage that was coming out through the head gasket because these two, this hole right here, this is a, a head bolt hole and this is a head bolt hole and these both got quite a bit of carbon in them and the only way I can see there's a carbon to get in there is if, it, if it's coming in here through there through there this one must be coming in oh wait these are the exhaust valves yeah make more sense but this hole this end hole is is pretty clean this one's coked up pretty bad this one's got actual threads that might even hold a bolt in there this one's got a little bit of something in it and this guy down here is perfectly clean but then again these two holes had good compression on them these two were 75 also this one here had a chunk out of the valve this one I'm not really sure this is the one over here the number one that uh, you can see the dings in the head right there. They're not going to hurt anything. The head gasket's out here. And it's not on a ceiling surface. So I'm not worried about it. But uh, that one dropped a valve at some point in its life. And it actually has the loosest of the four um, sets of valve guides. But I wanted to show you one other thing here. Kind of got a bit of a straight edge. I don't know if this is going to work or not but yeah that head deck is fine that head surface I checked this I can't get any daylight at all where it's contacting I mean it's not perfect but I'm betting there's less than a couple thou, maybe maybe less than a thousandth, because you can't even see daylight under that straight edge where it's contacting head surface. But I think she's ready to rumble. I'm gonna take her out to the farm this weekend and get her on the tractor again, hopefully. Assuming Dad got me my uh, oil pan gasket <clears throat> and a head stud. <clears throat> 